Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another first 15 minutes here on Pastiche of Skin. We're here to look at one of the games from the PS Plus for the month of April, and it is called Dead Star. It's an interesting game, space combat, with um, a, a strategic control setup to it, which is a multiplayer, pretty much online only game. Uh, it does have offline tutorial components, but it doesn't quite really focus on that. It's really a multiplayer only game. Excuse me while I just go through the settings here a little bit and just make it so it's a little bit more audible for you to hear me. And um, I set up the controls as I like. Uh, there's a lot of bits and pieces of change in there, like the HUD, and you can see the control system. The game is reasonably simple to work with. It's a twin stick shooter where you uh, work your way through space as a different styles of ships using different weapons that uh, are offloaded onto your equipment for multiple purposes. If you want to be a dreadnought and do a lot of like large blast damage but travel slowly, or be a scout ship, or a, a carrier ship that's actually going to pick up a lot of the resources and materials required to win the battle. I mean, a lot of this feels like a very fast-paced uh, RTS in a lot of ways. Or, it's like a, a, I don't know, maybe a way mentally I compare it is like a cross between MOBAs and a RTS. As you can see, there's like three classes, well, not three classes of ships and three uh, races of ships to use. So, each one of them have their own limitations and specifications. Um, I personally like the very alien technology aspect. It, it remind me a lot of the Protoss, really. So I just kind of like jumped into a immediate match here as soon as I threw in the game. Honestly, it was just for the fact of kind of getting a feel of it really, really quickly. I have honestly no idea how to play this game, but I learned very, very quickly afterwards by taking the full tutorial mode and giving it a solid try. The, uh, the tutorial is very, very educational. I highly recommend it. I don't recommend jumping straight into a game like this unless you have uh, massive foreknowledge of the game style and you've prepared yourself. I personally didn't, and I end up working on just like a, one of the small cruiser ships running around, shooting out whatever I could out of the sky, and obviously being a hassle to everybody else on my team. Battle in the Conquest game type is actually won by gathering supplies from the asteroids in your fields around and using that to power up and expand your reach which um, I didn't quite understand. I knew you had to carry up stuff things, and I didn't know whether or not you could drop it back there, so I was just dropping stuff back to see if it would actually like, make things easier for other people, if they could just spend it or whatever else they needed. But um, I think there was actually that was also used for upgrading your own vehicles, so I don't know how much of that I actually was doing at this time. Well, everybody else has been upgrading and throwing some turrets and everything else on it to make sure that they, uh, the space doesn't get uh, too overrun. Admittedly, I came into this game quite late on, so a lot of the blue team have really, really bunkered down into the tail end of the base. But uh, this area, this, this, the game actually has a wide open space that uh, has multiple sectors that you take over. As you can see here, the blues have pretty much taken up everything up until this last point of red. But normally it's a little bit more even keel, whatever it starts off with. Contested zones that you battle over to take over at the beginning. So, um, working your way across that grid. I obviously came into this game at the point where it was very unlikely that I was going to have a massive impact and stop anything brilliant or horrible or survivable from happening. So, uh, this was the the last stand of the Kobayashi Maru kind of shit going on. Um, if anything was going to be successful, it would have been a Hail Mary pass, but I doubt it. So, I just stuck around with these ships, they hoping that they would actually give me the, the extra boosts I need from being inside their field of view. I thought it was actually probably important. There is healing and uh, buffs that can be given to all ships whenever they are in the um, range of the main ships that actually are like the, the carriers or the um, uh, dreadnoughts that actually kind of show like, that are designed to kind of like put move forward on the field rather than anything else. Now, obviously, it's telling me that upgrades are available, and um, I should have been using them, but I didn't. So, um, <laughs> well, what am I going to do about that? Uh, essentially, I just uh, give up on the idea of trying to uh, expand the quality of my vehicle, thinking that it was probably better that I let the points that I was gathering stay with the rest of the team, the ones that were actually been playing for a bit longer. Now, seeing the upgrades that were actually taken on board was increasing the power of machine guns, increasing your shields, increasing your speed. 
all these things seem to actually uh, per game don't persist but there is a persistent kind of leveling system for your pilots and uh, pilot skins i suppose is the best way to describe it but uh, each of these things seem to reset in the same way like a moba does between battles uh, so you don't have permanently upgraded ships whenever you start off which would uh, probably leave it a little bit unfair if you actually did do that Those sensible red versus blue sides in this are uh, mixed. You don't. It doesn't seem to actually have like one particular race uh, versus another race, or not race. Not race. <laughs> it's not a race war. Species. I suppose would be the best way to describe it for aliens. The um, the your loadout of vehicles can be specified to the way that you like them specifically. And as you can see, we're apparently pulling back around there. I didn't even know. Like that shows how effective I was being in this battle. So it seems to be like there's always like a push forward and ebb and flow of the fight because uh, a whole bunch of vehicles make it up forward, but then they have to take a long respawn time whenever they're uh, taken down so deep into the enemy field. And I, yeah, I could carry those. That was actually I was wondering. There, I thought I actually had already filled my load. So at this point, I was actually starting to figure out really that you can actually gather that gear or gather up the. Um, the the credits the chits the uh, materials and there is an out of bounds zone <laughs> which I had to test at some point so I do like the um, the destructible terrain the uh, the moving objects in space they do feel like a really um, dynamic field even though the ground doesn't change that much the layout of the battlefield doesn't change all that much. It just seems to be um, a, ni a nice little touch. For, for a PS Plus game, this is obviously been probably well, well tested in the field of uh, PAC game play and it's been converted across. Don't know if it's actually that massive of a con for any game on the console, but well, it's playable. Uh, I, I don't think I will ever come back to this game to play it again. It's just not within my wheelhouse of enjoyment. Uh, space combat and space sims. Eh, not my thing. It looks pretty. It plays well. Um, I think other people will get a, a lot more fun out of it than I will. And the repetition in it will get people who really like to play together in teams and be fairly competitive and stuff like this, which I generally don't. So, um, you know what? guys? I might, I might just call this as a day whenever I actually see the whole thing explode and say thank you very much guys this has been a fantastic experience doing the PS Plus games and there will be new ones coming out now for me so I hope you guys will be joining me again for those here on the channel on Pass Easter Skin oh you remember there's plenty of first 15 minutes and plenty of videos to come every single month here on Pass Easter Skin I will see you all same bat time same bat channel here on Pass Easter Skin on YouTube Remember, I love you all. Thank you very much. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.